Hey, welcome to this video. I've had another video request from a channel member on how to access the system volume information uh, folder and basically what does it do? Well, it's it's in your C root directory and it will be an access denied when you try to access it. So you won't be able to see it because it's a hidden folder. So once you go folder options like so and then you go view and then show hidden files and then you need to take the tick out of hide protected operating system files okay make sure you put this tick back once you've finished doing what you're doing if you want to go in there um, I wouldn't advise going in there but if you do want to go in there then I'll show you how to do it these are your actual operating system folders, files and folders you mustn't delete any of these because your system will not boot this is the actual folder that the person is uh, asking about system volume information now as soon as you click on this folder you'll get an access denied it won't allow you to go inside there okay so what you need to do is do a command to allow you to enter this folder okay and I'm going to show you that right now first things you need to do is go start run and type CMD in the actual run bar there and this will open up the actual command prompt now we need to get back to our C root directory so you're going to need to do a couple of commands you need to do CD for change directory and then C colon because my C, my C drive is my Windows drive whatever letter you use for your operating system you need to use that letter there and then push backslash there and then enter that will put us back into our C root directory I'm going to push CLS here for clearing the screen and now I'm going to type in the command that's going to allow us to enter the actual um, the actual volume their system volume folder so what you need to do is make sure you've got the speech uh, marks in there yeah and also put in the letter which um, you're going to be using for your operating system okay now you need to type system and then volume and then information yeah like so and then the speech uh, it's not speech marks it's quotations I should say really speech marks um, but then just put the E in forward slash E like so and then forward slash keep doing that question mark and then uh, G and then you need to put in here your username for your folder now what that means is this here if you don't know it'll be inside here this is my username for my folder and that's the one I'm going to need to put in rude boy for me whatever yours is or the one you want to access you need to put that username in okay so so mine will be this and then I need to do colon and then F okay and that's a bit of a, a bit of a command but I will put this command in my uh, description there so you can actually just copy and paste it straight in you need to change this if your letter is different that's all so once I push enter here it will give me access to that folder okay so now I've pushed it uh, it says process DIR uh, system volume information so if I go back to my C root directory now it will allow me to enter this folder like so voila and there you go and these are all your restore points okay this is where all your restore points will be kept for the machine so as you can see if it was in here I think you said you had a Trojan or something and it was in this folder here you could actually root it out or delete it but to be honest with you um, it's entirely what you do it's entirely up to you what you're doing there but be just be careful what you're doing on this system okay it's locked for a reason okay so there you have it that's how you actually enter that folder when it's locked and access denied now how do you lock it again well I'm going to show you that right now so what you need to do is come back to this window here okay and I'm just going to push my cursor key up on my, on my keyboard and that's going to bring up the command again and what I want to do is I want to take off the end piece like so yeah and then I'm going to use the left cursor key to take off the G okay and I'm going to put an R in its place like so so all I've done is I've changed the uh, G for an R and I've took off the colon and the F okay and it's as simple as that and once I push enter here it will actually lock that folder down so once I go back to the C root directory and then click on this you'll get that locked okay so you can't access it make sure you lock it after you've been in there okay you don't want to leave that open and also once you finish there just go C uh, sorry tools folder options 
view and then come down a bit here and then hide okay and then hide don't show hidden files and then you can actually hide that back up so you don't see them and you won't delete them by mistake okay so I hope this video has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope you enjoy my videos if you do enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel and also if you want to register for my free forum then head over to my site there and uh, register over there and then start posting and putting your questions up there and hopefully we can build up a bit of a community there okay if you've got any questions like this person had on how to do anything on a computer then please send me a message or post it in the forums there and I'll do my best to make that video for you thanks again for watching thanks a lot for your support guys bye for now